you have a car, you're accelerating at two meters per second squared. You're accelerating at two meters per second squared. So two meters per second, then four meters per second, then six meters per second, then eight meters per second, and it keeps increasing by two. But this four second interval is the only thing we're going to talk about. And let's call this interval I. We won't need to give it a name, but hey. So, uh, we have interval I, which is four seconds long. Now, our challenge here is to find the distance. The duration is two meters per second squared, and our time is four seconds. So, there are three ways to do this problem, and one of them is surprisingly easy, and that's the one we'll list first. Mm. We can use the kinematics equation d equal uh, v naught plus half a t squared to solve this problem. So, mm, if we set v naught to zero, which it is, this is uh, um, zero meters per second, then we get d equals to half a t squared. Plug in our value, and you get 16. So, that's the first way to get your high answer. But is it the true? Let's prove it with the second way, and then give it further evidence with the third. Let's go on to our second way, number two, way number two. So, let's make our AT graph, in which um, we'll cut uh, this uh, to, for only this, uh, to only this four seconds, so this uh, would be four seconds. And we know our actual race is at maximum two, so two uh, meters per second squared. So, uh, we, uh, what is this area that these uh, two lines intersecting for? What is this area? So, uh, what uh, has A times T in it? Hmm. I got an idea. VF equals V naught plus A T. Now, uh, we know V naught is zero. So, we can just... I uh, say VF is 18, VF is 2 times 4 is 8. Hmm. Now, that's basically just the change in velocity, which is uh, going to help us in our VT graph. So, let's count down for uh, our VT graph, because don't have enough space over there. Let's do this. Oh my. So, we're going to draw a VT graph. So, VT. We can also label the unit. So, we know our maximum velocity is 8, right? Ooh, we have to know the shape of this graph before determining the area. Because you know, we you know it has to be some sort of shape other than a rectangle. DT is 2T. So, now 2T, well, remember, looks somewhat like this. Uh, so, if we put a line here and then stop right at the former, put this imaginary line here, no passing, we get a triangle. Hooray! But what does this triangle represent? Let's see what it represents. D equals V over T. D equals VT. It represents our answer, the distance. We're so close. So, we're, we're going to, this is, a, this is a triangle, so, Mm, D equal half B eight. Half base is four. 
height is eight. How for that we have our answer sixteen. Free science lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.